All right, tonight we had Canyon on the road looking to get their fifth straight win and remain undefeated going into week five tonight. The Eagles were on the road visiting Borger Bulldogs tonight. Now let's take a look at some of these highlights. We have the Eagle quarterback Jay DeFore catching the snap. He has a lot of time in that pocket to make a decision. He ends up finding Jack McKay downfield who breaks the tackle and gets in the end zone. But that didn't shake up the Bulldogs just yet. Borger responds with a tough catch of their own. Quarterback Camden Hernandez completes the long pass to Chris Doherty, who sets them up for a big touchdown right here. Bulldogs set up on the one yard line. Camden Hernandez catches the snap, decides to keep it, brings it in the end zone. And finally, Canyon ends the half strong as Wayne Sheard right just right there muscles his way into the end zone for another Eagle touchdown. The Eagles don't let up and we have a final score of Canyon 64, Borger 19. The Eagles still undefeated. All right, up next, Hereford versus Plainview. Hereford on the road looking for a win against Plainview. And this ground and pound game for Hereford has been great all season long. They depend on it. Their blue collar team, no difference here, pounding their way into the end zone. Once again, the Plainview Bulldogs trying to make something happen. This Hereford defense with the pressure. Great catch right here. Able to get one foot down. Nice play for the Bulldogs there. Great offense. Bulldogs trying to redeem themselves. Has a few big losses on the season so far. Want to show out in front of this home crowd. Hereford lunching one right here down the field. Wide open, nothing but green grass in front of him. That's a beautiful sight for Coach Dunn Delosier and those white faces. Final score from out in playing view. Herford gets the win, 28-7. All right, and how about moving on to Dumas and Ryder? The Demons trying to get a big win here against this tough Riders Raiders. Another one of these kind of toss-ups that we had, Ralph, where we were trying to figure out which team was going to come on top. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of this beautiful bean footage, as you would say. Beautiful. Roll that first highlight. Late second quarter. Score is 21 to 14, Ryder, and here we go. Spencer Williams runs to that down for 15 yards. Next play, the fourth down here. But how about the field goal to make it 21-17, Ryder over Dumas. But just before halftime, Dumas's Caleb Suggs intercepts a Hail Mary attempt by Ryder, and they'll go to the half the same score. But how about that second start, starting off the second half hot? That's going to give a big game down for the touchdown who rushes 50 yards for the touchdown down the field. Ryder will win this one 28 to 17. All right, up next, Clovis versus Lubbock Cooper. Clovis got some big wins over these Lubbock teams so far. Lubbock Cooper gets the first seven on the board after a handoff to Isaiah Johnson, taking it on the sidelines, untouched right there. Nice run. Next drive, Cooper again. This right here is LaFree, LaFur with the quarterback fake. And runs it into the end zone himself. But the Wildcats keep it competitive. Chance Harris is a great quarterback, making plays is what he does. Finds Ernesto Acuna in the back of the end zone. Final score in this one. Uh, Lovey Cooper wins 48 28. See, it just kept you on the edge of your seat. I know, there I know. we go. Well, how about this next game? Sanford Fritch. The band's looking nice out there at River Road. And the Wildcats hosting the Sanford Fritch Eagles. A beautiful game for some Friday night football. But how about this play? Might be my candidate for weirdest play of the year, and Ralph knows why. Roland Smith just rolling man, into the end zone. Sometimes you're just lucky, oh, man. Oh, yeah, but sometimes as he stretches the lucky. ball across the goal line, comes loose, but somehow the ball, just like a yo-yo, comes right back into his arms for the score. Moving down later on to Panthers again. This time, Brandon Belcher takes it to the house with a little less dramatics, doing it the old-fashioned way, breaking some tackles and using his killer speed. River Road wins this one 47 to nothing. A big old goose egg on that. That one for Sanford Fritch. All right, some full screens right here. Let's check it out. Some scores from Cross 4A. Pample wins over Paris in 40 to 14. Estacado got a big win Thursday, 45 to 3. And Friona edging out Dalhart 39 to 35. That was a close one out there. Had a lot of great games. Courtney, how did those came uh, Eagles look out there in Borger? They started off a little rocky, but they ended just how I thought they were going to end. Very, very strong. There you go. They're 5 0 in the year, man. We've talked though they're our team of Kevin's the week. my favorite team yeah. so far. <laughs> okay. They've got that power. Hey, I like it. Coach Bryant, those guys keep going the same thing they did last year they're trying to add on to that guys we'll have more highlights coming up after the break